the D'Antoni thing. Let's focus on this for a second. Mike D'Antoni obviously was in Houston with James Harden. They know each other well. They weren't able to get to the promised land, as everybody knows. So why would it work here in Philadelphia? And if you're Joel Embiid, when do you start looking around and going, okay, wait, when did this become the Houston Rockets retirement center? Like, what the hell is going on here? So why would Joel Embiid also be for that? So two questions. One, would it work? And why would JoJo go for it? For me, I don't think it would work. Okay. Like, 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 like that, like that's the thing. And, I agree. Know, I agree. It doesn't work. Yeah. And, you know, I think um, it was Alan Hahn, ESPN's Alan Hahn. He was on first take. And I think they were talking about the Harden and B dynamic and the head and the new head and possible new head coach and things like that. And even Alan Hahn was like, who are the Sixers committing to? Are they committed to Joel and B or are they committed to James Harden? Because it's beginning to look like it's James Harden. And it makes a lot of sense. They brought in like three or four former Rockets in the offseason. They were Tucker, um, Montrezl Harrell, Daniel House, even D'Anthony Melton, who obviously didn't play for the Rockets, but he was drafted by the Rockets, and, and Daryl Morey. All of them have some type of connection to Morey and the Rockets. And it's kind of just like, Daryl, if it didn't work in Houston, why are you bringing it to Philadelphia? So in my opinion, I don't think it's going to work. But Daryl has also done a really good job of putting the right pieces around Joe. I think that's something that we do have to give him credit for, because when he took over the job in 2020, moving out Horford, Josh Richardson, bringing in shooters, Danny Green, Seth Curry immediately. The next year, the Ben Simmons saga moves that and gets a future Hall of Famer in James Harden. Um, then this past off season, he brings in toughness. It's just um, obviously it has the weird rocket connection though. So that's the big question. And would Joel go for it? I think he would just because Dan Tony was an assistant under Brett Brown. in I think 2015, 16, that was Joel's technically second year in the league. I put that in quotations because that was the second year he was hurt from the injuries. So, um, but jo- I knew don't Joel and Dan Tony actually had a little bit of a, uh, some type of a, like positive relationship when, when MDA was here. So I think Joel would go for it. I just personally don't think it would work because this is essentially the same type of core. Um, well, not exactly. I mean, Joel's obviously better than Clint Capella, but this is kind of like the same idea of you tried to do in Houston and it didn't work. You came up short. Now these guys are five years older, you know, four or five years older and in Philadelphia, I just, I'm not sure. I, I don't think it'll work. I, I'm with you 100%. I don't like it. That's why I want to do something different. Even Frank Vogel ahead of, of Mike D'Antoni, as far as I'm concerned, 